Hello and welcome to Ed's Place Live Lessons from Your Homes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mrs Toos and you've joined us today for a maths lesson all about finding missing numbers. Perhaps you are familiar with Ed's Place and often use it, but in case you're not, we are an online digital learning platform written by teachers for children in year one all the way through to 11 offering English, Maths, Science and 11 plus self-marked activities written by fully qualified teachers. We're bringing live English, Maths and Science lessons into your homes during the school closure period. So why not join us over the next few weeks as we tackle some key topics. Before we get started, you might find it useful to have a pen and paper handy so you can make a note of key ideas or jot things down. You're also going to need to access your EdPlace account. If you don't have an EdPlace account, do not worry. You can access all of our activities if you go to edplace.com. We'll go over this in more detail when we get to that part. So welcome to today's Year 1 and 2 Maths lesson on finding missing numbers with Mrs Twos. By the end of today's lesson, we are aiming to have achieved either one or all of the following three steps. Understand how to find the missing number in an addition or subtraction sentence. Apply your understanding to use the inverse relationship to answer an example problem. And explain how you solve the problem to someone else. Before we get going, it's important to understand some key ideas that will help us with this lesson. Firstly, what is addition? Well, addition is when we add two or more given numbers together to find a total. You may use objects like counters or a number line to help you add. Another important part of today's lesson is subtraction or taking away. Subtraction means we can find the difference between two numbers. We must always subtract the smallest number from the largest. A really useful tool for today's lesson is number bonds. Number bonds are pairs of numbers which add up to a certain total. For example, if you know 3 add 7 equals 10, you can use this knowledge to create the inverse subtraction sentence, which would be 10 take away 7 equals 3, or 10 take away 3 equals 7. This is called the inverse. Inverse means opposite, so subtraction is the inverse of addition. Once we know that inverse means opposite, we can use this knowledge to find a missing number in an addition or subtraction sentence. Let's have a close look at these examples. Firstly, let's look at those additions. 5 add 4 equals 9, or 4 add 5 equals 9. So, the inverse or opposite number sentences use the same digits, and they are subtraction sentences. 9 take away 5 equals 4, and 9 take away 4 equals 5. Now, let's look at the next example. This time we've got subtraction first. 10 take away 3 equals 7, or 10 take away 7 equals 3. The inverse addition sentence is 7 add 3 equals 10, or 3 add 7 equals 10. Did you notice this last example is also a number bond to 10? These number bonds do come in handy. Luckily, there are some really useful rules to help us find missing numbers. Let's look at this example. Something take away 20 equals 40. Here's the great rule. If there is a missing number at the beginning of the sentence, do the inverse. So we will need to do an addition sentence. Let's move the numbers around to do this. 40 plus 20 equals 60. Ah, so our missing number is 60. Let's put that back into our original subtraction sentence 
and check it's correct. 60 take away 20 equals 40. Here's another really useful rule to help us find missing numbers. If there is a missing number in the middle of the sentence, do a subtraction using the numbers you have been given to solve it. So in this example, we move 24 to the middle and we do 54 take away 24, which will equal 30. Remember, go back to the original question, pop in the missing number you have found and check your answer. 54 take away 30 equals 24. Great job. Let's have a look at some example questions together. Something take away 14 equals 6. For this one we are going to need to do the inverse which will be an addition sentence. That's because the missing number is at the beginning of the sentence. We use the numbers we have got. 14 add 6. That makes 20. Let's check this with the original subtraction sentence. 20 take away 14 equals 6. Great. Did you also notice this question is in number bond to 20? Let's look at this example together. Which rule will help us to find the missing number in this sentence? The missing number is in the middle of the sentence, so we'll follow the rule and that means we must do a subtraction using the digits we have been given. We move the numbers around and we put the largest number at the beginning of the subtraction sentence. 20 take away 11 will equal 9. We'll check back with the original question. Yes, 11 add 9 equals 20. OK, let's have a look at another one. Which rule can we use here? So, a missing number at the beginning of the sentence means we should do the inverse. 50 take away 32 equals 18. Remember, the largest number will go at the beginning of the subtraction sentence. Then we will use the missing number 18 in the original addition sentence. 18 add 32 equals 50. Now time for the final one to look at together. How shall we solve this one? 92 take away something equals 54. Did you remember that if the missing number is in the middle of the sentence, we should do a subtraction? 92 take away 54 will equal 38. So let's put that missing number 38 into the original question. Yes, that looks great. 92 take away 38 equals 54. In a moment, I'm going to direct you to an activity you can use to practice what we have just learned together. You will need to either sign into your account or go to www.edplace.com. The next slide will show you the activity we are going to use today. OK, so the activity we are looking for is called Working out missing numbers, what's the value? 0 to 12. If you have an Edplace account, go straight to Maths. If you don't, go to the Learn tab and then Maths on the Edplace website. Then it is the same route for all of us. Go to Year 2, select the Curriculum tab and then go to Addition and Subtraction. This will open a group of activities. Look through and choose Working out missing numbers, what's the value? 0 to 12. If you're struggling to find this activity, please visit our support site on screen for a quick walkthrough on how to locate activities. Before we begin, just check this is the introduction you can see. If you can't see this as the introduction to the activity, 
Please go back to the worksheets and check you've chosen the correct one. Working out missing numbers, what's the value? 0 to 12. If you can see this introduction, brilliant, you're ready to have a go. Once you're ready to start, please pause my lesson and start the activity. In the next part of the lesson, I will go through three questions, so don't worry if you find it tricky. Now, let's look together at some of the questions you have completed. Firstly, question one. We need to find the missing number on the card. There's two steps needed to crack this. First of all, we've been given the numbers four and two. So let's add those together to give us six. Now we can use this to complete the inverse operation, a subtraction sentence. Eight take away six equals two. So our missing number is two. Let's pop that back into the original question and check it's right. Four, add two, add two equals eight. Yes, the missing number is two. Now, let's look at question two. This question is a little different as the missing number is in the middle of the sentence. This means we should do a subtraction to find the missing number. A subtraction will be the inverse. Using the numbers we've got, let's do eight, take away four, take away three, which will equal one. This is telling us our missing number is one. Let's check our answer using the original addition. Four, add one, add three, equals eight. Great job. The missing number is one. Now finally, let's have a look at question four. What is different this time? Well, the missing number is at the beginning of the number sentence. When this is the case, we must do the inverse operation, which will be a subtraction. So we put the largest number 10 at the beginning of the number sentence, and we do 10, take away one, take away one, which will equal eight. This is telling us the missing number is eight. Let's pop that back into the original addition sentence and see if it makes sense. Eight, add one, add one, equals 10. Yes. The missing number is eight. Let's recap what we set out to do today and see how you got on. Can you understand how to find the missing number in an addition or subtraction sentence? Are you able to apply your understanding to use the inverse relationship to answer an example problem? Have you had the opportunity to explain how you solve the problem to someone else? If you have met one, two, or all of these objectives, fantastic job, you've worked really hard today. We know that some of you will need a little more practice to really master these skills, while others of you are ready for your next challenge. To help you know which activity to select next, here are some suggestions. The activity we just tried is listed as activity three. If it felt a little tricky for you, why not try activity one or two to gain confidence in the skills you need? Then give it another go to see if you are more ready to tackle it next time. Please notice that activities one and two are found in the year one section. If you feel ready for a challenge, why not try activities four or five? It doesn't matter which activity you try. The important thing is to try the one that is right for you. Good luck. As we finish up for today, here are other places you can find us or access support. For more tips and ideas, why not check out www.edplace.com. You can follow us on Twitter at edplace underscore UK or join our Facebook group, Edplace Home Learning Community. We look forward to working with you again really soon. Keep up the hard work and keep practising.